tribal chief. It's head and above everybody. He is the tribal chief, the head of the table. It's Sports Keto Wrestling, and we're talking again about the most popular man in pro wrestling who has captured the attention of fans and the boos and cheers, depending on where you are, with his imposing presence. However, there are some lesser-known aspects about the man behind the character, his career, and things that may even surprise the most dedicated WWE fans. So let's acknowledge them. Here are some things that you may not know about Roman Reigns. From his football background to his personal struggles, get ready to discover something you didn't know before. Before pro wrestling, he was the big dog on the gridiron. After high school, Reigns headed to Georgia Tech University, and the man then known as Joe Anawahi became a star on defense and played alongside future NFL greats like Calvin Megatron Johnson. However, in the 2007 NFL Draft, he went undrafted. But the Minnesota Vikings signed him up as an undesignated free agent player, basically a practice squad player. Interestingly, it is the same team for which Brock Lesnar played for at some point in a similar role, just trying to make his way onto the actual team on the defensive squad. Imagine the two of them playing football together. Unfortunately, his NFL football career didn't really turn out the way he would have liked, and he decided to quit the sport and start working for his sister's furniture business to earn a living. Yeah, the head of the table was installing someone else's table. The point is, he wasn't made for the job, and he told ESPN's first take that at the time, he was looking to get into the family business. Pro wrestling, the WWE. His family, the Anawahi family, had a long established tenure, multi-generations in pro wrestling across the world, including his very well-known uncle, The Rock. In 2010, he finally got his dream job and signed with the WWE. He began his training in FCW, competing under the name Leaky. Yes, there is no Roman Reigns back then, no tribal chief. He was just a rookie in the pro wrestling ranks in a big company with a big family name attached to him, trying to live up to the expectations. He had his first professional match against Richie Steamboat, yes, the son of WWE Hall of Famer Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, in 2010. Reigns was not victorious in the match, and funny to think that the man who wasn't pinned for three and a half years failed to win his first match. That's right, Roman Reigns can be pinned. The thing is, like many people coming up in the ranks of WWE's developmental system, the leaky character wasn't connecting. Something needed to change, and the change came after WWE redubbed the whole developmental system from FCW to NXT, as leaky became Roman Reigns. Yes, the name we know him to to this day and this allowed him to showcase a more ruthless side in the ring. Do you think Roman would have received the same success with a name like Leaky? Maybe unthinkable? Yeah, it's just not the same. What isn't unthinkable is thinking about the shield without Roman Reigns. But do you know that the big dog wasn't supposed to be in that group? Yes, that influential faction that also included Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins started back in NXT, and the original idea was for independent standout Chris Hero, known to WWE fans as Cassius Ono, to become that third member, the muscle of the group, instead of Reigns. CM Punk came up with the idea of the Shield, apparently and reportedly from some people, and wanted Cassius Ono, along with Rollins and Ambrose, to make up his goon squad. But Triple H and Vince McMahon shot the idea down and adjusted it to include Roman Reigns. And in hindsight, it was probably one of the better decisions they did in the last 10 to 20 years when you think of how successful all three men would be together as a group. Reigns went on to become a breakout star of The Shield and quickly gained recognition in WWE. In 2014, The Shield broke up, and in December of that same year, he won a Slammy Award for Superstar of the Year. He is the youngest wrestler to receive that award at the young age of 29. Ah, yes, but this is when fans started to boo the big dog and turn on Roman Reigns, at least some of them. 
Women and children, they ate up some Roman Reigns. But the dudes, the bros on the internet, they gave them the old John Cena treatment. After winning the Slammy, Roman was pushed to the top, and he went on to win the Royal Rumble in 2015 to a chorus of boos. Whether fans liked it or not, WWE made it clear that this was their next big guy. He earned the shot at the WWE World Championship against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31. Nobody thought it wouldn't be any good either. There was some collective unease against wrestling fandom going into the big title match main event, but surprisingly the match delivered thanks to uh, the beating that Reigns took at the hands of Lesnar, of course, and Seth Rollins pulling off the heist of the century, cashing in Money in the Bank and leaving with the world title. Roman Reigns was supposed to be the guy, and this was supposed to be his crowning moment, but he expressed that it was his favorite match. Yes, a match where he lost. Not only Reigns, but everybody ended up liking that match too. A lot more coming out of it than maybe going into it. What nobody liked for Roman, whether you were booing him or cheering him as a pro wrestler, was what happened to the man behind the performer when he came out to the ring in October 2018, announcing that he was battling leukemia. The shocking and sad announcement stunned the WWE fan base as Reigns explained that he had previously battled leukemia at the age of 22 and had successfully battled the disease into remission, but now it was unfortunately back. He relinquished the WWE Universal Championship and walked away from the ring to the dismay of fans and the entire WWE locker room. A few months later, triumphantly in February of 2019, he returned with a massive ovation and good news, announcing that he was once again in remission, winning his second battle against leukemia. During his time away from WWE, Reigns made a little splash into Hollywood, you know, with that famous cousin of his, The Rock, and the Fast and the Furious spin-off movie, Hobbs and Shaw. Apart from that, he's done some voice acting as he's voiced a character in the Elena of Valor TV series, in addition to the WWE-produced animated feature, Rumble. Well, what did you expect? He's gotta take care of this family. He has kids, five kids which is a huge number in and of itself. Yeah, and however, the thing is, he has two separate set of twins. That's two different tag teams. There's a tag team title being fought for in his house, I think, maybe. When you're the tribal chief, you have a big responsibility and a whole lot of seats at the table. What do you like about Roman Reigns? What's your favorite match from him? Your favorite memories and moments? Let us know in the comments below or check out other videos like this from Sports Key to Wrestling.